Welcome back to Soma. I'm looking for a shuttle that I can take to Station Lambda so that I can meet up with the woman that I've talked to on the radio. So let's go try to find one. How did I... Where did I get a flashlight? You know, I've been wanting a flashlight for a long time. <laughs> okay, so there's something very strange going on here. I didn't know that I could breathe underwater. And when I say I, I mean my character. Like, my character didn't know that he could breathe underwater. And he kind of, like, magically got a suit when the water came in, right? And now he just, like, magically got a flashlight. Or he had a flashlight the entire time. So what's going on with that? I'm really thinking that this is some sort of a simulation that I'm inside of. Like I'm going through one of the stress simulations of my scanned brain. And that I'm, I'm able to magically get these things because it's part of the simulation. Like part of supporting the necessary interactions and events is to make sure that I, I guess, stay alive or something like that. Well... That's suggesting that the simulation is trying to keep me alive, which I don't think is true. Or maybe it's just that I'm a robot. And that's why I didn't know that I had a flashlight, because... I don't seem to think that I'm a robot, I think I'm a human. I mean, you even saw his hands at one point, and he had human hands. But maybe that's not real, maybe that's just an illusion. Maybe he just wants to believe that he has human hands. Maybe he's actually a robot, and that's why he has a flashlight. Because he just has a... Like a light attached to his head or something. Hmm. I don't know. Let's hope this place doesn't have a breach like the last one. gonna go that way. God, it really feels like every single place I'm inside of is just gonna crush and just fall apart at any moment. But yeah, it looks like the tunnel's caved in or something. Or maybe it was sealed off on purpose. At least that way it is. I don't know about the other way. This might be the shuttle that I'm supposed to take. See a flashing light up there? Looks like I could start it. Looks like there's something on the seat, too, that I could read. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like it's working. It looks okay. Let's see what the heck this does. Let's see if touching this helps. Jesus Christ! What the hell? Okay, that was different from the previous ones. Usually I just touched it and then just kind of recoiled, but this time it like tried to suck on my hand or something. 
Should I be touching those things? Why am I touching them? I honestly don't know. Which means I should probably stop touching them. Looks like how many parts were needed for the repair. Seven screws, two fuses, or something like that. Oh, it's a tablet. Manifest. Shuttle beat. Upsilon beat, theta. PR. Theta proper? Hmm. No date. Tether. Hazard report. Helper kit. Auto inflator. Impact event. Pathos 2 memo. On this morning of January 12th, 513, the comet Telos crashed into the Pacific Ocean. The impact ranks as one of the largest collisions ever recorded on Earth. All evidence indicates that the surface has gone completely barren and is no longer able to sustain life. Pathos 2's unique location has provided unparalleled safety for our staff. Some structural damage has been noted, but no casualties reported. The largest loss was the weather and communication station located on surface platform Omega, unmanned, which is, under the circumstances, a small price to pay. Theta will hold an emergency meeting to discuss the future of Pathos 2 and ultimately mankind. More on the matter will follow. Yeah, so it was a comet that crashed into the ocean. It sounded like something was going to crash into the earth. I didn't know it was going to hit the ocean, though. Kind of an end of the world event. Basically, an apocalypse, if you will. The surface has gone completely barren, no longer able to sustain life. Yeah, that's... I would say that's an apocalyptic event. And the entire surface of the Earth could no longer sustain life. Or at least human life. Okay. So I guess we're the lucky ones. Well, <laughs> I mean... I guess we're supposed to be the lucky ones, because at least we're alive. I don't know if it's exactly lucky to be stuck down here with these murderous robots. But then why were they doing the consciousness experiments with the robots? I still don't understand that. I guess it's a good thing we never had any kids. Hard enough looking my parents in the eyes. They're going to a bomb shelter upstate, by the way. Along with your dad. I'm guessing someone will help him send you a message somehow. I mean, I hope they will. Hell, I'm not even sure you'll get this message. If you do, I want you to know I never blamed you for following your dreams. It just... I was just mad it didn't fit better with what I imagined our lives would be. I really wanted the picket fence, big family, you know. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I'm proud of you. And even though it's been difficult to be separated from you, I regret nothing. I'm happy. And I really wish I was able to say this without the sky falling down. I love you, Amy. I always have. And always will. Yeah, that was a message to Amy. And I think Amy's still alive. Most likely. I mean, we saw that she'd been living in here for a long time with all her clothes and all that stuff. I feel like she's probably still alive. And I keep trying to interpret the events in this game through two different lenses. 
because I'm pretty much going with the idea that this is some sort of a simulation. I'm pretty much just running with that. I'm just assuming that this is some sort of a simulation. So I'm trying to interpret the things that I'm seeing through assuming it's a simulation, but I'm also trying to view them in universe. Because if it isn't, if it is a simulation, then I'm assuming stuff is like within the simulation is internally consistent, like that the story has some own, like has its own meaning inside of the simulation as well as outside. So I'm kind of trying to think of it through those two lenses. Don't shock me. More of the goop. Is that the structural gel? I think it is. The stuff that the robots seem to, like, crave. As if it's a drug or something. Is that someone alive? Wait, I think that's Amy. Hey, are you? Don't hurt me! Can I help? They won't let me die. Nothing is allowed to die. It's artificially keeping her alive. Those are her lungs. What happened? An accident. Fixing the power. I was going to Theta. Anything I can do? If you see Masters or Holland, tell them I need help. Okay? Amy needs help. Is there anyone who can help her? What the hell can be done at this point? If you disconnect her, she's just gonna die, right? My character seems surprisingly unfazed by what he's seeing here. Are you okay? Uh, I think I just killed her. Can I not plug it back in? It's a connection! Connections should be reconnectable! Uh. Oh, fuck me. I gotta be honest, that was 100% my fault. I literally, literally just didn't think of what that connection was. I just kind of grabbed it because it was interactive and I tugged on it. I didn't really think it through at all. I didn't do that on purpose. If I had looked at where it was connected, I would not have done that. Uh, although, honestly, she might be better off. But I still would not have done that. I don't get why I couldn't reconnect it. Why would why would you only be able to disconnect it and it can never go back in? I don't get it. Well. Goodbye, Amy. Maybe I had to do that anyway, did I? It's possible I had to do that, I'm not sure. Maybe I needed, like, the extra power or something, because it was sucking the power from this thing. Because now it says powered, 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 and I, I'm not sure it said that before. Okay, note to self, don't just yank on stuff without thinking. Jesus. Eh.
Yeah, you know what? I think I had to. Because I think that's all I can do here. I think now the power, uh, the power at the tram will be back on and I just need to go back. Okay, I feel better about it, because I do think I had to do that, but still. I wish I made the decision to do it, rather than just dumbly doing it. Nah, that's still locked, but this should at least be openable. Message to Pathos 2 or Pathos 2 Research Facility. Mm, floatable airlock. Needs adaptable pipes installed. I have no idea what to do with that information. Shuttle J6 activated. Standing by. Ooh, I get to actually flip these things. Cool. Oh, that's so cool! That's so satisfying. You are here. Okay, so I came from Upsilon A, I went through the water to Upsilon B. Let's see, thermal and manufacturing plant, that's where I came from. Depth of 99 meters. Okay, so that's how deep it is. 99 meters. That's not too bad. That's not that deep. Eight personnel. Gas harvesting and refinery. Personnel... None? Is that what the dash means? Just none? It's about 100 meters down, too. And we want to go to... Was it Lambda or Theta? I think it was Lambda. Personnel four. Transport Terminal and Visitor Center, 96 meters. Let's see, let's look at the depths. 64. 150. 185. Ooh, that's pretty far down. 4,000? Oh my god. Holy crap. Omega Operations. Abyss is what it says. Oh god, do I have to actually go there at some point? I hope not. 4,000 meters under the ocean. <sighs> Alright, let's go to Lambda. I feel like something's going to be in the tracks and I'm going to hit it. Way to the stars. What Two minutes. started as a thermal mining operation in the 60s has now become home to the Omega Space Gun, the world's most affordable way to launch satellites and deep space probes. Our unique Atlantic Ocean location allows for this gigantic coil gun, running longer than a marathon, to safely launch projectiles without risk of damaging the payload with risky combustion. The station is planned to multiple sites and has a diverse staff of engineers and scientists. Together, they are able to produce, assemble, and launch the world's most sophisticated spacecrafts. In addition to our principal operation, Athos 2 is also the home for multiple research projects within the marine sciences, including hydroculture, turbulence, and deep sea construction. We are now leaving Upsilon for Lambda. Lambda is Pathos 2's shipping dock and transportation hub. There, you will be able to find shuttle trains leading to all the other parts of the station. So I guess they're doing research on, it, like, robot intelligence and synthetic intelligence just as one of many research projects. Track obstructed. Oh, fuck, I knew it!
Well, at least it didn't flood. Water monster. Amnesia water monster. That's all I'm thinking about right now. Don't you do it, Frictional. Catherine, is that you? I was on my way, but then the shuttle train, it, it fucking crashed. Are you alright? The system says the section is sealed for a suspected hull breach. No, I'm not alright. What the hell happened to the world? Why are we underwater? Well, you're really out of place, aren't you? Look, don't worry about that right now. I realize you're confused, but you're so close to Lambda. If you just keep going. How close? Can I walk there? Yeah, but the tunnel is locked off to protect the overall structure from collapsing. What you need to find is your section's maintenance hatch. It'll lead outside. Maintenance hatch. No problem. What is that? What's going on up there? I gotta go. See you soon, Simon. Catherine? You okay? to touch it. Uh. Ooh, there's a lot of water behind there. Wait, so this actually isn't where I go? Oh. I looked at that, but I didn't see the handle. Got the Omni tool back in the shuttle. <laughs> oh, God. Are you kidding me? Fuck me. Fuck. What's happening? Whoa. Looks like every time I look that way, what the hell? Wait, there's somebody there. There's somebody in the, in the lights. Well, I don't know if it's a person, but it's humanoid.
Did they just get crushed? I guess I gotta either walk on foot over to Station Lambda or find another way to get into the shuttles. Another shuttle? No, you couldn't... I, I think I just have to walk on foot. Because the next station that would have a shuttle would be Station Lambda, right? I can find Lambda, right? I mean, really? How big can this ocean be? <laughs> Pretty dang big. I mean, that the shuttle was going pretty fast, and the ETA was about two minutes, and I made it about one minute through before it crashed, roughly, so I should be about half the way there. Krabs, how you doing? <laughs> this light really doesn't do much underwater. Sounded like a whale. I guess that's the distance to the station. 350 meters. That's not bad. saw me. Oh god. Oh, oh. oh, 
it's just about as fast as me. Thing sounded demented. It said, "Take it, cry like a bitch." What the hell? It didn't just want me for my structure jail or whatever, but it sounded like it wanted me to suffer. Oh, there's something over there. Might be a sea craft. But what's this? Hmm. Yeah, it looks like that's where I'm supposed to go, but what's this thing? Cortex chip. Unable to activate. Escape vessel. Protocol missing. Oh. Doesn't want to stay closed. Hmm. I'm really curious what's this way. Oh. There's another robot. Yeah, let's not go there. This must be Lambda, where Catherine is. Tidy up this place a little bit. Am I seeing things, or did that actually happen? Don't look at it, don't look at it, don't look Oh god, it's actually there! Don't look at it, don't look at it. I thought it was just a vision. Oh, yeah, it's there. It's there. gonna get to meet Catherine? That sounds too good to be true. Simon, are you there? I'm hurt. I feel like this might be a trap. We know the robots can make perfect emulations of the voices of the crew members, right? That might just be a robot.
That's Catherine, isn't it? Simon, right here. Jesus, just like the other one. It thinks it's human. It thinks it's it knows it's human. No, not you too. I was really hoping you were human. Don't let the circuitry fool you. I was human once. Can't take it anymore. This is everything's fucked. I give up. There's nothing left. Calm down. It's not the end of the world. You sure? It sure as hell looks like it. For all I know, there's no one left except for me. What do you mean? I'm right here. Don't take this the wrong way, but I meant any humans left except for me. Have you looked at yourself lately? You're a walking, talking diving suit with some electronics left on for good measure. I don't. You don't want to think about it? We'll start thinking about it. I, I, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be this. I want out. Before you do anything hasty, could you help me with something? What? I was trying to find out what happened with my project when that brute knocked me to the ground. Your project? How could anything possibly matter when you know you're a stupid robot in a stupid dead world? Okay, focus. I need you to fix me so I can get back to work. Then you can sulk as much as you want. You gotta be kidding, right? I think I have a better chance of building myself a time machine than of putting you back together. I just need to access the computer. Oh, is that an Omnitool you're carrying? Oh, the door opener? I picked it up at Upsilon where I woke up. I don't have to do. Plug it into the terminal. Sure, whatever. When the Omnitool is loaded, just plug my Cortex chip into the tool. What's a Cortex chip? It will be obvious. I'll eject it for you. Just grab the chip and slide it into the Omnitool. Come on, I just need you to do this one thing for me. Sure, whatever. Okay, so that's gonna replace her intelligence with the Helper Jane intelligence on my Omnitool. So, she knows she's not a robot. I mean, she, I mean, she knows she is a robot, rather. Just plug it into the terminal. She actually knows, and she doesn't care. Uh, wait, where's the terminal? Lambda terminal 27 activated. The Omnitool is ready now. Should be easy enough. Just pick up the chip and slide it into the Omnitool. Why does a robot chip fit a door opener? It's standardized connection. Uh, Catherine? All right, let's give this a try. Oh, it's got the growth Cortex on it. Cortex chip found. Shutting down helper chip. Have a nice day. Just pretty much anything will fit. Oh, this feels weird. I'm in the Omnitool? Thanks. So, what's the project about? My project? Oh, well, I saved all the people on the station as brain scans and put them into an artificial world. We were gonna launch it into space to save it from, uh, well, all of this. Are you telling me that you were going to launch a computer world filled with people into space? Yes. It was just a pet project at first, but it got really serious after the comet took out the surface. Then suddenly it became very important, and it was officially named the Ark. That's appropriate. How far did you get? I don't know. That version of me that I am. It came from a scan I did pretty early on. The living Catherine could very well have finished the project and launched it. I guess she could even still be alive. Ugh, weird thought. So the talking robots, are they also scans you did? They could be, but I doubt it. I'd expect much more sense if that was the case. Ah, all right, silent. What's happening? I managed to restore some data from the backup server. This should tell us everything we need. Oh. Could you do me a favor and run into the other room and have a look? I don't seem to be able to view the files in this condition. I need to know that the Ark is safe. Sure, Kath. Thanks. I'll unlock the door for you. What was it you said before? You're from Toronto? Yeah, I just went in for a brain scan and suddenly here I am. That doesn't make any sense. How? Why would anyone bring a scan from Toronto? You think that's strange? What if I tell you it was back in 2015? Whoa. So...
Whoa, I just had a thought. I just had a big thought. A really big thought. Let me get the big thought out. So then I have more room in my brain for other thoughts. Okay. So... You can't make any sense of it. You say something? Sorry, still trying to figure out how you got here. Keep at it. I'd really like to know who thought sending a Canadian to the bottom of the sea was a good idea. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking about. How did I get here? I don't think time travel or, you know, like space travel makes any sense. Here's what I'm thinking. Okay. So it was roughly a hundred years ago, I think, when the brain scan in Toronto was made of him. And we know he had brain bleeding, right? He'd been in an accident. His brain was continuously bleeding. They believed him to be okay, and they were regularly what draining before? the cavity. That creature was strangely overbearing. Yeah, it basically exploded with electromagnetism. That's bad for us, right? Confusing, at least. Gives the senses a good punch. Well, if it's messing with my senses, then I have to be a robot of some sort, right? Otherwise, electromagnetism wouldn't do anything to a human body. Nothing. Anyway, I'm going to go into the menu so I don't get interrupted again. Okay, so here's my thought. It was about a hundred years ago when the, the Neurograph scan was made of his brain back in Toronto. We know he'd been in an accident, right? And they were scanning the brain to try to help him, uh, to see if there's anything they could do, I guess, to help him recover? Because he had permanent brain damage that, I guess, affected his ability to, to function to some degree, I think. So they made an extremely high-quality copy of his brain. Based on the research, it sounds like it was basically a perfect copy, because it was good enough that they could basically run simulations on it and run tests on it to determine what the effect on his actual brain would be. Now, if the effect on the simulation can be reasonably used to tell what the effect on the actual brain will be, that implies that it's a very, very high-quality copy, right? So let's just say they cloned his consciousness. They cloned his brain. They had a copy of his entire consciousness after that scan. Okay, so they made a scan of his entire brain. Let's say, hmm, let's say maybe something happened, maybe the brain damage was worse than they thought, and he ended up dying shortly after. So he, he let's just say he died from his injuries, right? It was brain damage, his brain was bleeding, that sort of stuff can happen. Then, what if they thought, well, if we have a copy of this person's consciousness and they died, why don't we hold on to it? and maybe attempt to use it at some future date, if possible. You know, why not just keep it? And then fast forward a hundred years. Maybe his copy was somehow sent to this research station for the research they were doing, or for the artificial intelligence research they were doing, or something. Maybe the copy made it here somehow. Either just... Either just to test out intelligence or stuff like that, or... Perhaps it was specifically because they thought maybe you can finally bring him back to life or something like that. And then he got put into a robot. And now I'm here. Hence the, the time travel. Hence the teleportation. I got scanned and then I woke up here. But she doesn't seem to know how I got here. And it sounds like she's the one who made... Like, she's the one who scanned all the base personnel to try to keep them alive and put them into robots. So you'd think she would know about me, because she would have been the one to do it. But she also said that, yeah, um, my character asks her, did you do all of them? Like, all of the robots, are all of them your creation? And she said something like, if they were, they'd make a whole, like, they'd make a whole lot more sense. So I guess um, she's responsible for some of them, but not all of them. So maybe she wouldn't be aware of me. Maybe I was in the files system of this station, and the robots which have gone rogue just pulled it out and made me. Maybe? Those are my current thoughts, and to be honest, they sound pretty damn cool. Like, I like that. And it sounds very plausible. We'll have to wait and see, obviously. But, man, that sounds good, doesn't it? If that's not the story for this game, then... Somebody write that story, because it sounds pretty cool. Uh -huh. 
Is this where the Ark is? Seems like the break room. <laughs> Buddha. What happened to the tower and the dock and the welcome center? What tower? What are you talking about? This place is in ruins. All the cameras show static. It's, it's so strange. I have no idea what this instrument is called, but it looks pretty neat. I can even hear the uh, the strings kind of like twang when you drop it. It's cool. From Matthias Josic Josic uh, twenty one oh three Chris. I've stayed up all night. It seemed like a waste to sleep. I got the TV on in the background. The newscasters are covering the incoming comet like they were counting down for New Year's Eve. I know it's messed up wishing you were here with me. I suppose if anyone had a chance to survive this thing, it would be you guys below the waves. I hope you're able to go on, if it's a life worth living. Looks like the shit's about to hit the fan. I better hit send before the shockwave reaches us. I'm proud of you, boy. Dad. God, that's sad. There's really no way around this. A freaking comet killed the planet. Afraid so. You were all stranded down here. And we were the lucky ones. Catherine? What? Nothing. Never mind. <laughs> Just wondering if there's anything maybe hidden under the pillows. Probably not. You know something strange? Is so much of the text around here, like on these bottles, on this book, and all over the place, is not in English. And yet, everybody speaks English. Isn't that strange? That seems awfully strange to me. Whoa! Fuck! What are you doing? Be careful! Is it about to break through? Careful! I think it's back! Keep your eyes peeled! I think I'm okay. If I caught the thing to stop bashing the window, it would have broken through. What did that do? I still think it might be a save point, but I don't know. Okay, what is this other room that I'm supposed to look in? Oh, it's probably this. Yeah, this looks like server racks and stuff. Just check the computer. Yes, look for anything about the Ark.
Ooh, plenty of information about it. Opinion poll. You know what? This is a lot of information, and I think if I look at all of it right now, this episode is going to be super, super long. So I'm actually going to end it here. This game's story is getting a lot more interesting. See if you can find out where the Ark is. Like, it's almost, it almost feels like they've played their hand, like, a lot more than I thought they would. I thought all the robots would just all think they're human, but it seems like my character is pretty much convinced that I'm a robot or something like that, and he's like, this is stupid, this doesn't make any sense, like, he's realizing how ridiculous everything is. How this doesn't make any damn sense. Which makes me more and more curious what the actual story is going to be. Because it almost feels like a reveal of me being a, actually being a robot or something like that is, like, so obvious at this point that it'd be pointless. So there's got to be, like, something more to the story, even. If they're playing their hand this early, only, like, four hours in, there's got to be a lot more. So I'm really curious what it's going to end up being. It's got to be something more complicated than I originally thought. Maybe the thing I just said with the whole copy and the copy being used from the brain scan uh, eventually, like a hundred years later, as part of research or something like that. Maybe it's that, maybe it's something else, but I think it's going to be a lot more complex than I originally thought. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to read more about the Ark.